Now in this lab, I'm gonna show you zero touch provisioning or ZTP. So zero touch provisioning requires that we have a DHCP server configured and a Cumulus auto provisioning option needs to be set. So on my DHCP server, I can use the command cat etc DHCP DHCP dconf. And notice we have this option, option Cumulus provision URL code 239 equals text. To enable zero touch provisioning, you would need to add detailed configuration information, specifying the location of the zero touch provisioning script to be executed. I'll show you that in a different video. For now, however, let's look at etc message of the day. So that's the default message of the day message that is used when you log in. So I've logged out, I'll log back in as Cumulus. Password is Cumulus Linux, exclamation mark or bang. And there is the message of the day. So this is where it's configured and this is the result when I log in. Now in these examples, I'm gonna use Nano because it's easier for a lot of people than VI, but you could use VI for editing if you prefer. Let's look at the NTP configuration on the switch. So scrolling down, I can see my NTP servers. So server zero, one, two, and three. Now for those of you who are new to Linux and Nano, down arrow key moves me down, up arrow key moves me up. Control K allows me to cut a line into buffer. Control U pastes it back. So if I press Control U twice, notice I'm getting the same line multiple times. Control K, Control K cuts the line. Control X asks me if I wanna save the changes. I'm gonna say no in this case. If you just wanna view text, you could use something like cat, so etc. ntp.conf, or you could use more, or if you prefer, you can use less. There are advantages and disadvantages of each of those applications. This is Linux, so if you have Linux experience, use the tools that you're used to using. For now, let's view the interfaces on the switch. So sudo, nano, etc., network, interfaces. So in this case, I've got two interfaces by default, auto, loopback, and ethernet zero. I've removed the switch ports that I configured in a previous video. So that's not what you're gonna see by default. On this switch, which I've made no changes on, if I cat, etc network interfaces, you'll see by default that we only have the loopback and Ethernet zero management port. Ethernet zero uses DHCP. So if I type ifconfig, I can see the IP address that's been allocated to the switch by the DHCP server on the management port. ifconfig on this switch shows me the IP address that's allocated to this switch from the DHCP server. Cumulus runs Linux, pure Linux with some extensions. Linux as you would be used to running on a server, obviously being enhanced as discussed, to run with ASICs and Broadcom chipsets as an example. But you can take your Linux knowledge that you may have gained from working on servers and you can apply that knowledge to networking products. That's one of the great selling points of white box switching.